Do you wanna make your Wi-Fi names as many as possible? Because here I have four Wi-Fi names or Wi-Fi SSIDs. So each of them has its own network and each of them has their own password and names. So here I have almost, I have Leotech and I have here Da Silva. This is also another Wi-Fi network. So you can easily connect and you can also have Mahi. I have Mahi, this one is also another network. So you can easily connect and I have here also Mahilio and this is also another Wi-Fi so you can easily connect so by following this simple step you can easily make your Wi-Fi names or SSIDs up to four based upon your Wi-Fi configuration so watch till the end and make your Wi-Fi names as many as possible without further ado let's get into it so you have to choose uh, your uh, browser that you can use so and then you have to put your ip your wi-fi ip address so why my wi-fi ip address is this one so your wi-fi ip address is different based upon your router configuration so you have to put your wi-fi ip address accordingly and you have to put it so here you have to put your username and password so i will add my username and password so that you can get into your wi-fi interface so this is my interface so you have to my wi-fi my wi-fi is zte so the in this router i will show you how you can add your ssids so all you have to do is you have to click the network option so here when you click the network option this option will appear so the WLAN or the wild local area network option you have to click the WAL setting so here when you click this setting this window will appear so here all we are going to do is to access our SSID setting or simply our Wi-Fi name so SSID is its an acronym stands for service set identifier so you have to put all your names in this setting so you have to click the SSID setting here so when you click the SSID setting this option will appear so here as you can see the first option is the SSID one so when you click this arrow it will show you my my Wi-Fi has a capacity to have four SSIDs or four Wi-Fi names so in order to make all the SSIDs you have to make it activate you have to activate each SSID so this is the first SSID or I have one network here the little take because other SSIDs are not activated so in order to make that happen you have to change your SSID so in this uh, SSID in the previous video I show you how you can hide your SSID so you have to watch this video so that you can easily access how you can hide your Wi-Fi names so in order to use another SSID you have to click this arrow this button and you have to choose the another SSID so we will choose the SSID 2 so here when you click this SSID 2 to this SSID is not activated so you cannot see the another Wi-Fi here as a result of tick so the first thing you are going to do is that you have to enable this SSID so you have to click this box so when you click it this button will appear so now you can enable your SSIDs and here in the bottom there are some windows appearing so the maximum claim is 32 so you can limit the number of users that you have in the specific network so let us make it as it is and you have to choose your wi-fi name so here this is your the place that you have to put your wi-fi name so my wi-fi name is da silva so i just put it as it is and these options this option is another setting so you have you can easily hide this ssid if you want if you want to hide you can uh, easily hide this ssid but for uh, now I, I will not hide it so that i can show you how this ssid is, is working so after you done all the uh, settings so your ssid name is this one 
Tedda Silva and the maximum claim is the uh, 32 and the priority is uh, the network priority so which network is prior or which which network you prefer to use so based upon your SSIDs you can set priority so 1 2 up to 7 uh, priority you can set it and after that you can easily submit you can easily submit but before you, you have to put your passwords so here in order to put your passwords you are going to click the security below the SSID setting so in the security these are the place you can put your passwords so here this is the option for SSID 1 the first network or the network that is appearing here so but we are going to put a, a password for our SSID 2 so you have to choose this option you have to click this arrow and you have to choose the SSID 2 so here it will show you your SSID 2 places to put your password so here you can easily put your password in, in, in this place so here you can put your password so like if I want to show you so you can easily set your password up to eight for uh, example but you, you should not use uh, this simple password so your password should have a combination of uh, capital letters small letters and numbers and different characters but for this info just i will use these numbers and you have to submit it you have to click the submit button so that your password uh yeah just it says your password is weak so let's make a combination of uh, capital letters e and a combination of small letters a b c and uh, this exclamation mark so this is my password for this network then you have to submit it so when you submit your configuration your wi-fi configuration will be saved to your router so as you can see my wi-fi uh, router have saved the data that i gave to him so here as you can see your data have been stored so i put my ss my another ssid password and i activated my ssid setting here in the ssid uh, one, two here we activated we we you have to enable this ssids right so we put the password then you have to enable this ssid so that the ssid will appear into your wi-fi setting so here we have to also submit this setting so we just enabled when you enable this setting your wi-fi will appear so around here so here so we we, we only have leo take here but when it is saved successfully it will show you another da silva network here because our ssid name is da silva so the da silva will appear alongside with the leotech because you add another network so here as you can see we just saved our network so as you can see here we can we can easily add another network here da silva right so here you can easily connect to this network you can easily connect to this network right so uh, let let us put it our wi-fi password abc abc and this one so here you can easily connect to the da silva network because we just added another ssid to our wi-fi configuration so by having this simple step you can add up to four ssids so in my wi-fi i can easily have four ssids four wi-fi names uh, and other wi-fi's may have also uh, may have another ssid uh, up to four, seven or up to eight ssids but in my router i have i have only four ssids so you can easily uh, add ssids just just like i show you so here you can easily add ssid3 right and you can easily also add ssid4 so that you can have four wi-fi names and four wi-fi networks so that you can easily access based upon your wi-fi router configuration so i just connected to the dazilfa so it has its own network and it has its own name 
so you can also share to your families so if you have many families you can share one network to one of them and you can share another network to the other families so that you can split your wi-fi uh, names accordingly so this is the video i have for you how you can easily add ssids to your wi-fi setting and if you get value from the video please subscribe to our channel hit the like button and if you want to hide your wi-fi name from your neighbors and for friends so that they cannot hack you please see this video it is very very useful and i will see you in the next time bye bye this is leo tech